on, and then now it's kind of hanging in there until the end. And so too is two-time NASCAR Cup Series champion, the reigning champion, Kyle Busch, in his maiden Rolex 24 appearance. He is in the top 10 in the GT Daytona class in the A. Vassa Sullivan Lexus. He waited for a little while and watched his teammates, and then the moment that he'd thought about for a long time, his first stint. And he did well. It was on the shorter side, and then they got longer the more he did. But he showed pretty quickly, Townsend, that he wasn't hanging about for anybody. Well, especially with things like this, the 16 Porsche class car. Look at how close that front bumper is. He's just kind of leaning on him a little bit and stuffs it up the inside. Kyle Busch, I can tell you one thing, decisive is his personality. He knows what he wants, and that's win, make a move. He doesn't like following anybody. And you can see the smile. He was having a pretty good time out there. Yeah, he looks pretty pumped. He was up on the wheel as we expected, Tans, and uh, he's got so much talent. But uh, that's the part I love is the smile that, that you see on his face because he's having a good time, and I think he's probably had a better time than he might have expected. This yeah. is a whole new world. He's learned a lot. He's listened. He's asked a lot of questions, and, and it's been a lot of fun to watch him progress. And I'm sure Big Bro Kurt gave him a few pointers as well because Kurt finished on the podium here overall. If you're just turning on, we've got the Peacock Pit Box here with Steve Latard, Chris Devota, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Yeah, Lee, you're just you know, talking about Kyle. Kyle was up here talking with us. And one thing, Dale, that he, that he said, if you know well, and you drove a Corvette here uh, in the Rolex 24 with your dad, and, you know, the fact you don't want to be the weakest link, or, you know, you know that you're in, I, I guess, sort of a, a, an office, if you will, that you're not normally in. Uh, what was the, the thought for you, and did you compare it to what Kyle had to say up here? Yeah, I mean, just watching Kyle drive the car there, you see the unique steering wheel that they're using. Fast car drivers use a 15-inch, use a, you know, 14-inch steering wheel. And Kyle has to. Michael DiCasano, who's done a fantastic job, by the way, behind the wheel. Try and gain a little pace and see if that keeps him in the ball game in the 14. Also, Townsend Bell, his teammate, our broadcast partner, came in as well. Smooth stop for those guys on the 12 and the Amy Vassar Sullivan Lexus Pit, Kelly. Well, getting back to GTLM and those BMWs, we heard from Colton Herta. His car has had some issues, but it's been smooth sailing. For the number 24 BMW, Jesse Crone just put together a mega stick, getting the car to the lead. It seems like these cars are just coming to life. What kind of BMW did you hand off to your teammate? Yeah, it's been... Uh, look at Kamui Kobayashi. This is for the lead of the race on Tristan Nunez. Mazda versus Cadillac. Let's ride with the Japanese driver. We've got a spinner. Two of them on the front stretch here. The 47 and the 23 ended up spinning around the grass. Second only to AJ Foyt in IndyCar racing history. Scott Dixon is about to join the likes of Brian.